I'd say the part of my job that I find that most satisfaction from is not just helping the patient, but also improving their lives overall, uh, improving their health. Uh, we, I like to follow the medical philosophy where we're not just treating a disease, we're treating the patient and their health overall. So not only the, the challenge that medicine gives us, that complicated cases give us, but also the small victories, the improvements in overall quality of life, overall function, and uh, just helping people uh, live their lives better every day. So my recommendation for men when they ask about prostate screening is to begin the conversation. Between ages 55 and about age 70, it's reasonable to screen most patients based on their risk and based on their overall health. Uh, as far as prostate cancer, if there's risks uh, and if you're in the range that it's concerning, it's not a bad idea to at least get the information and make an informed decision as to would you like to proceed with screening and, and what options you would have then afterwards. One of the things that surprised me uh, joining on with Mount Nittany Health was the fact that there is a lot of uh, subspecialists and specialists available, uh, the wide array of patient uh, options as far as other physicians and support. And uh, for the complicated patients, it's always good to have the support and the help. Uh, in the surgical field, we always rely on each other. It's not uncommon for heart surgeons to end up needing a urologist to come assist in something related to the bladder. Uh, because people sometimes are a little hesitant to talk about some of the urologic issues, they don't realize how common they are. So giving them that information, also if it is something unique, letting them know you know, the different ways that we can go about managing it and giving them the options and the information that they need to make an informed decision as to what the next step should be.